Access paths can be used when the operation you are performing requires interruptions to the generation of the guidance line. This interruption results in the guidance lines being grouped together. Between each group of guidance lines, you can specify a distance. This distance can be centimeters, which could allow for a small gap to lay irrigation pipe, for example. Or it could be meters, which allows an access path for larger vehicles to travel down. By default, you can engage an auto steer down the swaths in each group. However, if you wish to use the auto guidance feature in the actual access path itself, you will need the license installed advanced guidance. To set up access paths, you will need an existing AB, A plus heading or a curved guidance line. In the field manager, activate the guidance line you wish to use to create an access path. With your guidance line selected and active, press the access path button. Enabling access paths feature for this guidance line will mean that each time the guidance line is loaded, the access path will be generated. Specify the swaths that will be between each access path. Your path width, which can be between 1 cm and 100 meters. This will be the distance that separates the groups of swaths specified above. Swaths in the first group is referring to the group of swaths in relation to the guidance line they are using and its original location of creation. You can then specify the location of the original guidance line in the first group. Lastly, you can choose whether you want to create your guidance line based on the access path itself or the swaths between each access path. Press the tick to save the settings and return to your guidance screen. Each time this guidance line is now loaded, the line generation will follow that set in the parameters of access paths. To disable this, enter your field manager and simply select the access paths with this guidance line active, then select disable.